Greetings. All praise King Selassie. Speaking about this ongoing exercise to condition people to worship the beast. What is the beast? Well, what did the Christ say? He said, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, give unto myself what is mine. Do the so-called Christians profess that the Christ is Lord? Well, then who would be Caesar be? And what is Caesar other than his system of law? Because every nation rests upon their rule. The United States founded on its constitution. That's why I and I say Babylon, because the root of this constitution is the Roman rule, which stems from the ancient Babylon. Now this Be Savior series is an exercise. It's the, the goal is to get people to worship and serve the beast, which is being promoted by the second beast, which is the AI, artificial intelligence. And the people are sending their information, which is feeding this beast. Now if you know how this works in uh, codes and mathematics, you know that the, 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 the more information is, is, gives more power to this beast. Now the man is, is, is giving it, it, its authority to this beast so that it can take accountability off of himself. And right now, this is happening in, in all these uh, you know, so-called nations around the world that are projecting these images that are reflective of the population beliefs in an attempt to give the population a battle. You know, these are the cherry battles. Um, whereas, you know, like for example, you got the pedophile Trump. He's the guy who is supposed to reflect what, you know, a lot of people are thinking about the system. And he's doing a fine job. Um, you know, although I'm not sure that the operation is as effective as that, you know, as it was intended to be. Um, and, and so in doing so, he's turning other people away towards those that are being projected to oppose him, which are, is the entire industrial complexes uh, network consisting of, you know, the communication channel medias, the, uh, the, the, uh, the offense departments, uh, the Congress, even private um, corporations, you know, like uh, Wall Street and Silicon Valley. Um, this guy, what I see is he lies 90, about 90% 90 of the time, and about 10% he tells the truth. And so, you know, you have to first determine, okay, you have to be able to sift out the lie from the truth. This, this is the reaping. And then, you know, you can begin to dissect, okay, why is he speaking truth about this? You know, again, most of the 90% of the time he's speaking lie, it's, it's really to kind of uh, rile people and to, to, to kind of into action. So that they, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fight for my freedom for this, this, this country. It's founded on, the, you know, hear these people talking about the Constitution, as if this thing didn't, doesn't benefit this guy. You see, the witchcraft. And so, people cast underneath the spell, this is trickery. And the people are just, most of the people are not, I guess, maybe perhaps willing to absorb everything and be able to, to figure it out, to make sense of it. Uh, so they, they, they uh, intend to place trust in institutions to do that for them. And so these institutions' goal is to be persuasive, just like any of the, the, the lawyers, you know, here, you know, they, hey, they, 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 they're the guys that they, they comb and they've got this really uh, professional sound to them and we're just going to take care of you. There, there's nothing you're going to have to worry about from here. And then they, they give you the shaft. Um, so eventually people are, are, you know, I think believe, have been f now wakening up and f beginning to fight, fight. And sometimes that just means they just turn it off. I was in the library the other day and the librarian was saying, uh, you know, 
that I don't pay attention to the news, it's too negative. It was an older woman. So the, there's a crisis that these communication channels are losing uh, the interest. And, and that's a problem because they function as an arm for the oppressive classes, just as their government does. And so just as an example, the communication channels, then you have the offense department, all those agencies within it. You have the um, injustice departments, those are the, you know, the FBI and, and the CIA, you know, these secret agencies, and so on and so forth. And so all the institutional infrastructure is the beast. See, the beast, pardon me, I had to erase some memory. Okay, so the beast is a body. It has organs, it has members. They're associated with one another. They form the network of the body itself. And the body, like any body, is run by the heart. The heart is the last to go. And so this organ is representative of man's law. And that's what gives the, the beast life. And so all these institutions are members of the beast. And so there's a need to prop each one. You know, the communication channels is one large network, like a pyramid scheme. Associated Press, routers are at the top. BBC, then you have all your crappy, you know, American counterparts and, and whatnot. And, and the, it, it's, it's a plantation model, you know. <laughs> uh, those that ran the plantations from afar, they didn't uh, put much emphasis in educating the plantation owners as to what it is about anything, you know. So, and you can edu you can, you can, you know, miseducate people. You can give them pe people information that's either irrelevant, you know, not important, or just bad. And you see many of these counter-narrative operations being orchestrated by the so-called government, so-called to eliminate the threats to the so-called democracy. And so the funding's there, whereas they set these guys up like Cass Sun, uh, Shine, and these characters are the ones, you know, from the inside, they're gonna orchestrate some of the, these images uh, so that people's perceptions are altered. And so, for example, if you wanna speak about something that's happening, and then you go to search about it, and you get a bunch of, a bunch of junk uh, information that waste is a waste of time. And in the end, you might determine that whatever that issue it is that you were uh, looking for um, is 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 just it's not being portrayed like you know you're you, you know you you've been told. So, for example, it could be like chemtrails. Well, chemtrails is just like a misnomer. You, you can call it chemtrails, you can call it geoengineering. But if you search for these things, you get a lot of counter-narratives. So you steer away from it. It's a deterrent strategy to get you to, to not be influenced and, you know, focus on something else. I mean, you hear these people talking about, oh, stay in the moment, stay in the moment. The moment you start to, people start to actually think and process information. That, that's a threat in itself to the status quo. And so now people, as people become educated, you know, there's, there's this, this, this need to project falsehoods so as to you know, belittle people's authority because with knowledge, you have authority. When you know how things work, uh, you're a threat. Because if things aren't working right, rightly, rightfully, then um, you uh, can expose this. And so early on in the internet days, these, these people figured it out. So they, they make the design so that, you know, caters to them. Uh, one of the most discriminatory, discriminatory things on the internet is these platforms, these social media platforms companies that are now under scrutiny. You got Facebook, you got Shitter, and these companies are anti-revolutionary. You're not going to change, you're not going to 
put a beating on Babylon through them. And as a matter of fact, as soon as you get on them, you know, Levi included on YouTube, you're associating yourself with them. And it brings you down because that's how it's branded. Now, if we had a real democracy, what they call democracy, uh, which, which I would just say majority rule. If, if there was a majority rule, then the, the, the government would operate these platforms. And there would be no views and no followers because that's just discriminatory. Because even if I search for Ross Reaps and I see a video, it has views when I go into my account. But on just from the outside, it shows no views. And, and people are afraid sometimes. They, people, you know, laws of attraction, and people, people think that if, if you're unattractive to others, that somehow that's going to bring them down. They, they won't be as attractive to others as well. And a lot of people, like, you know, we all kind of like, you know, we, we, we struggle to survive and sometimes we try to have a good time. Like no one really wants to like ruin their life, like so to speak, even though the Christ's sake, those that lose their life for the Christ's sake will save it. And this is design I must lay down with these cares of the world and, and place for the spiritual blessings. Because those in Babylon will fall they will fall hard so now you know there is this this exercise uh, you see the Facebook scam bridge this is to distance the Congress the so-called government from the uh, you know private corporations that that run the government so as to make the appearance that all oh, you know there's there's checks and balances that uh, Facebook, even though there's taking information from people who aren't not even signed up to the uh, service. In other words, y you know, myself, like anybody, that's anybody. If Facebook is actively pursuing, and how else are they going to do that by hacking into your device? And now it's like hacking is like even Brad Manning said, hacking's not really the word that they use because it just sounds it sounds bad. Um, but they're accessing all the devices and taking as much information from these devices. And that's why they're called device. This is a form of uh, violence. It's an attack on freedom. Now, they have all their players in place that are, are, are ready to, to defend their operations and say, no, 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 no. This is what freedom looks like, you know, pornography 24-7. Uh, but I and I know better. I and I know freedom is free, freedom to walk without a man always looking for you to, to do something, you know, to stumble, let's say, or to, to maybe uh, you know, shift your hip so that he, he can you know, point down on you. Because all this, this access has benefited someone. Is it benefiting you? Um, so now, back, you know, to the exercise, forward now, forward now to the exercise that the Pedophiles and Beast Savior series um, tries to explain is the, the villain guy, he's going to be uh, deflecting pe people towards the institutional framework, which itself is the beast, and he himself is a part of I always think like Satan just doesn't come up and say, hey, I'm Satan and I'm going to ruin your life, but you won't know it. <laughs> you know, he doesn't work like that. He, he stays behind the scenes and he tries to ruin you without you even knowing. Uh, much of what's orchestrated, you know, is from the European nations, which enslaved uh, entire civilizations. It shouldn't you know, come to, to be, you know, very, uh, you sh people, if, if you, if you take people and, 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 and say, like, I got a yard here, I could call, I could get a bunch of people and say, look, clean this up, fix this, 
you know, make this and do this. Over a few, over a thousand years or so, you're, you're going to find out that you're pretty wealthy and those people aren't. So, what are you going to do with that wealth now? Well, you're going to try to convince them that you earned it fairly, justly, even by God, you know, the, you know, your God. That's a goal. I think that's a goal. You have these new anti-memory uh, things happening. And, and, and part of this, this information um, influx is it's like it functions like a hurricane. It floods people with, with information that, that people just unable to sort, sort it. So there then comes again this whole fake news operation, which is part of this larger peace savior. And it is to make people aware that a lot of information is not that good. So go towards the traditional source and we're going to have the our government um, let us codify all the content so that we can determine who sees what and, and everybody's cool with that because otherwise it's going to be crazy terrorists and they're going to be running around you know um, you have let's see you have the attention, you know, the, 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 the communication channels operate in waves. So you'll notice they all talk about the same thing at the same time. And that's how you know if something's not right. Because like I myself, I see myself as a reporter. And now I see myself as a minister first. And yet as an occupation, I see myself as a reporter. And then I'll say that Christ was a carpenter. Though, not sure where they got that from. Joseph was for sure. So, as a reporter, I'm I'm interested in reporting on certain things. I mean, I'm I'm independent entirely. You know, an unscripted source of truth, supporting the struggle for international national justice daily. And so I'm looking and I'm saying, wow, this is this is really going to have an effect, or this has an effect. And it has had an effect. And this is the effect. These are the results. This is what people should pay attention to. Not this. This. That's that. 